here with Art Beats Cafe and Katie Hacker. Hi, everybody. Welcome, Katie Hacker. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Oh, we're so excited. We're so excited. I mean, this woman here, goodness, you do everything. You well, do. I love to make jewelry. You do make jewelry. And she writes books. And she's the host of Beats, Bubbles, and Jewels. And she travels around and teaches. And is also one of my best friends. So there's that too. Hello. That's my favorite part. We're so excited. Me too. My goodness. We're talking about leather. I know. Well, leather is such a hot trend. Yes, it so is. So I wanted to come and show you what's available and just some ideas for sparking your creativity. Please, let's dive in. Okay. Sounds good. So these are all from Leather Cord USA. And that is a really high quality leather. You can be sure when you see the name because they use the center part of the hide which is the strongest and most consistent, and a lot of companies don't do that. Hmm. They also use dyes that are more ethically responsible. So they oh. meet or exceed worldwide standards for quality, which means they don't have lead, they're carcinogenic, chemical-free, and just all kinds of good things are associated with your jewelry making lead. That's good you to know. You can feel good about it. You know? Right, right, that's really important right now. Right, and it's the same leather that's used in a lot of designer jewelry collections, so you're getting mm -hmm. that same quality in your own pieces. Ooh, yeah. like it. I know. It's fun, and it's, you know, I think when you're making your own jewelry, and especially if you're selling your work, you want to use the best quality, and you also want to be around materials that just feel good. Yeah, and sometimes you don't know where they come from, you don't know the background, you don't know right. the history, so it's always good to know that. Right, and these um, are all, the leather cords of all the different kinds, which I'm going to show you, are all manufactured in India, but they're made from hides that come from all over the world. So they're looking for that really good quality from Argentina and many other places. Good to know. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look at the bolo cord, and that's Ooh, this. And this is that. how the company got started, was to manufacture this really high quality bolo leather. Oh, nice. So this would be something that you would um, traditionally be using in like Western ties. Sure. But I love using it for wrap bracelets and necklaces and all kinds of different projects. Well, and I love the colors. Beautiful they're colors. so beautiful. Yes, there are so many to okay. choose from, and there are three different kinds of dye. There's a metallic dye, the natural dye, and then opaque colors. So kind of different, you know, different aspects of each. Metallic mm. dyes can often have a lot of baddies in them, and these don't, so you can mm. feel good about that. And they also don't crack. Nice. So that's kind of a common problem with metallic dyes. Yeah, I've had that happen a lot. I yeah. fall in love with the color, and it's beautiful, and wearing it twice, it's already yeah. flaking Sad. out. So, yeah. yeah, and the natural colors, like this brown, um, can like look it. kind of variegated. You know, they can have a little bit more of a, that natural patina. Yeah. And then the opaque colors are going to be more consistently that color the whole the whole way. Great. Yeah, so there are also know. round cords and in those same different types of dyes. And I love just combining them with natural stones. I think yes. it's such a perfect compliment. Mm -hmm. But it also looks great to mix them with crystals and other more sparkly things. Sure does. So this is a piece that I did here using looming ah, with it on the sides. And then these are some knotted pieces. And you know, there are just so many different things that you can do. And I love the colors. Like look at the color mixture that they're you put really in there. They're different. They? Yes, they are. Yeah, they look so pretty with oh, those stones. very pretty. And, and the round, uh, sorry, but the round okay. this adorable thanks that's the cutest thing and that's Thank with the, the round leather the round leather yeah. cord all this nice. is is two millimeter cord so it's a very basic oh. staple that you need to keep around you know but there yeah. are so many different things that you can do gosh that's then fun. these are braids so this is something that looks more finished when you get it it comes oh. this way oh. it's precision braided on italian machines so the braid is really consistent look at that yeah and i just embellished the surface there with some beads and thread Gosh, that just looks simple. like a simple, yeah. It's simple, yeah. But I, I think it. it has a really nice look. I mean, mm -hmm. you can rivet onto it. I rivet it on a snap cover, or you can tie it in a knot. So, I mean, there are a lot of different things that you can do. And really, it gives you a palette for your creativity. Yes. And then let's take a look at the stitch prints over here. This oh. blue necklace is using the stitch suede that has that pebble print. And I love the that way that it fun. has the shiny but the matte together. Yep. And it has a cotton core, so you could also stitch onto it if you want to. Sweet. Yeah, and it comes That's in like a lot of different colors. Right. Hmm. Yeah. There are a lot of um, ways that you can embellish it. This is just a simple gluing the clasp on, and I'll show you how to do that in a Yay. tutorial. Excellent. Then this is another piece where I just combined some stones and metal beads with the leather cord using some wire wrapping at the front here. Oh, and that'll be another fun. technique that I'll show you. But let's talk about braiding. Okay. So even though there are braids that you can buy pre-purchased, I like the idea of braiding these strands together with cup chain and mixing in some other things. You can pick your own then. Right. It's custom, one of a kind. Completely custom. Love that. Yeah, so I'll show you how to make this bracelet. I love that bracelet. This is great, Katie. Yeah, well, yes. you could do it in any colors. I chose to use three different colors, yeah. two strands of each. 
Or you can make it all one color, of course. Nice. Okay, so I'm just going to take my wire cutter here. And let me just say, we're starting with our starter set. This has everything you need as far as the tools to do a lot of your leather projects and a lot of your jewelry projects, right? Great. Fun. All right, so I'll take the cutter out of there. And then this is two millimeter cord. You could also do this project with one and a half millimeter. You would just need more strands. So to do this type, I have my strands already glued in here. It only takes a minute, but I wanted to spend the time showing you how to do the braid instead of the gluing. But I glued my ends just in here and then let it dry. So the inside of this, I just want to make perfect size. show them it's empty. So right. that you can put anything, anything that fits, you can just glue right. in there, right? Yeah, you could even use some of those pre-made braids or other types of leather and glue That's it in. That's so cool. Yeah, so I glued in six strands of leather and three strands of little tiny cup chain there. Oh, okay, so I'm going to have you hold this down. And then the, ah. the trick to this is just keeping your strands all kind of facing the same direction. Just like braiding your hair, right? Pretty much. If you Awkward. can do that. <laughs> you can braid your hair. You are good. And it's good to attach it to your work surface or bead with a friend so you can get that going. Always bead with a friend if you can. Yeah. So you've got your three sections here and I you're see. just going to braid. So it's over, under, and I just keep kind of adjusting the cup chain so that the sparkles are to the outside. Okay. Yeah, so your tension, you're just tugging in and manipulate it a little as you go, right? Right, and because if you need to adjust it a little bit, you can. Right. But you can see how your braid is starting to develop. Yes. There, and then I'll bring my fingers back and just kind of flatten it up. Right. And if you wanted to make it really funky, then just don't worry about it. Right, you know, because it's bulky. It can be really bulky, and that right. chunky is yeah. really in right now. And you can mix in different fibers. I love that. Yeah, so you're getting your natural material and your crystal all together. I think I like it looks it. great. And it isn't hard. It's not hard. No, this is much no. easier than I thought. Super simple. It makes a great gift. Um, do measure your leather cord to the same length as the finished length of the bracelet because the cavity and the clasp, you need to account for that. Good so if tip. you need an 8-inch bracelet, go ahead and cut your leather to 8 inches and that comes out just about perfect. Right. So you'll just braid this and once you get to the end, then you want to cut all of your ends flush and glue it inside the other side of the clasp. And the way that this fastens together, I'll take this from you, is you just tuck the toggle into and then good. <gasps> Look at that. Easy. That's easy and adorable. And I love that these clasps come in different finishes too. So we have some gold ones and also different widths. Right. So smaller, larger. Yeah, so, so you, you can, can completely customize. customize your design. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Sweet. It gives you the designer look at home. Oh, and this one over here, look at, you did that one with Ball chain. That's right. So I thought this would be a good idea for somebody maybe who doesn't love the sparkle, maybe a guy in your life, you know, right. you can go ahead and use the ball chain with some different colors and get a similar effect. But it, you know, it's just, there are lots of different ways to get different looks using the same, pretty much the same material, same idea. Right. Just and the same technique. You just would do the same thing over and over again. That's right. For all your besties. Because if you wear one, you know they want one too. Definitely. Oh. Be prepared to make a bunch. <laughs> This was great, Katie. Right, well, thanks. Oh, thank you. And thanks for joining us here because we are so happy to have you. That was really fun leather stuff. Have fun with your leather. And we're happy to have you join us here at Art Beats Cafe. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter and our YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. And as always, join Katie and I and 